Feature matching extract key features from an input image using ideas from edge, corner and contour detection. It uses a distance calculation to find all the matches in a secondary image and there are three methods and in this video you will learn about brute force matching with ORB descriptors. We will have our original image and this is going to be our image of Conflex and this is going to be a shelf you so here in this shelf you will see that we have different varieties of items present here and one of the item is cornflex we want to match our image original image with the one in this shelf so it will automatically detect the matched image out of all this image in our shelf and for this we are going to use the method brute force matching with ORB descriptors. Now let's go to the Jupyter notebook and start coding. Let's import CV2. Import numpy as np. Import matplotlib dot pyplot as plt. We will have two images. One image will be a single image whose feature we will try to match from a set of different images where one feature among them will be our original image. So let's first import our first image, the original one. I'll make a variable conflex and then I'll call here cv2 imri and then my image name with this con.jpg and I want to open this as a black and white image so I'll put here 0 this means gray now let's print our image plt.imshow conflex color map cmap is equal to gray Now here in the output, you can see that this is our original image and we have converted this into a grayscale image. Now we are going to import another image where we will have different images in a shelf and one of them is going to be the cornflex, the same one and we are going to match the feature of this image with the one that will be in the shelf. I'll make one more variable image. And then I will call cv2 dot imread and the image name is shell dot jpg zero because we want to read it as a gray image and then plt dot show image color map is going to be gray now let us execute our code and here in the output you can see that we have different images in this shelf and our conflex image is here now we want to match this original image with this conflex image so we what we want to do is we want our algorithm to find the original image in the shelf where we have different set of images for that now let's create a detector object of um, brute force matching. I'll make one variable ORB and then I will call CV2. From this I will call ORB underscore create. Inside this we don't have to pass anything. We just call this object and now we have saved here uh, let's create a distance that we are going to use to find features i'll make two variable kp and then distance kp is nothing but key points and d is nothing but distance then i will call this object orb from this i will call the method detect and compute 
and then we will pass our original image which is conflex conflex and then the second parameter is going to be none we just want to get the distance for conflex now let's do the same for this shelf image so we will make one more variable key points one descriptor one and then orb dot detect and compute same method and this time for our image and the second parameter is going to be none this will detect key points in kp and kp1 and compute descriptors in dsc and dsc1 let's create a brute force object i'll make one variable pf and then i will call cv2 from here i will call the method bf matcher then i will pass here cv2 dot and this it, this has to be in capital letters norm underscore having then cross check cross check is going to be true now let us execute our code now i'll make one variable matches where i'm going to use this bf matcher object that is bf then i will call the method match and then i will pass our descriptor and then descriptor one and then let me print matches uh so this is d e s not d e s c okay so here in the output you can see that these are the distance that we have calculated and we can look at one of the random distance here i'll just type here matches and then zero at this index number zero and then distance the distance it says is 41.0 the less the distance it has that means it's it is better for a match so the distance should be as less as possible now let's sort these distances i'll make this similar variable on the same variable i will call match and then i will call here sort it we are going to sort this distance and then i will pass here matches and this is also going to be matches and then key is going to be we will write a lambda function lambda x x dot distance now we will draw the matching elements so this is the uh, last thing that we have to do I'll make one variable conflex underscore matches and then I will call cv2 from this I will call draw matches and then inside this I'm going to pass some parameters that I'm going to explain you the first one is our image that is conflex the second one is our key points kp1 then our shelf image img then key point one then matches and we are going to say let's we are going to consider first 30 matches here next we are going to pass one parameter which is going to be none and then flag is going to be true and here this matches 30 means match from the first match matches from the first image to the second one which means that uh, key points one has a corresponding point in key point two 
and this we are going to keep it as two only and then now we will do plt dot figure is going to be fig size is 15 by 15 this is just we are defining for the image size and then plt dot im show on flex matches and let us execute our code and we got some error here it says flag is invalid keyword argument and this is not flag but this is flags now let us execute our code and here in the output you can see that we got the result here and it has correctly matched our original image with the one in the shelf and it has also some errors where it has match these pictures uh, or these words with this one also but you can see that the wrong prediction is quite low but the accuracy is quite high it is able to find its match in this shelf and this is nothing but the wrong match but this is how you can use ORB descriptor for uh, feature matching this is the one method and in our next tutorial we will see the second and third one and they are also quite similar with some modifications but that that is good to know and we are going to see in our next series next videos i hope you enjoyed this video if you like my video you can subscribe to my channel thank you for watching